Hi kids and welcome to Kids Church. So, you're like, where am I? It's a strange room. I am actually in Pastor Jeff's office. And we're doing something very special today. I know I say that every week, but this week I really mean it. Because we are playing the world renowned game of Minecraft. So you might be wondering, how is Minecraft Kids Church? Well, hear me out. God loves when we're creative. God gave us each and every one of us gifts, like cooking, or running around, or being super fast, or you can sing, or you're creative. Lots of people in the Bible were creative. Miriam sang, David wrote poems, Lots of people built and honored God and what they made and what they celebrated and how they showed their creativity. So, are you ready? Because I'm super excited. So, whoa, we are in the game. We have made it. So, okay, where, where are we here? Oh, hello. Did I move? Oh, I'm moving, okay, okay, we got it. <laughs> I figured if we're gonna be creative, we might as well be in creative mode. <gasps> Look at these guys. Hello. Do I go down? Oh, please let me go down. No, wow, no, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Hello, please be my friend. Oh, you're so cute. Hi, please be my friend. Oh, <gasps> am I on it? Oh. <gasps> Dude, wait, don't kick me off. Okay, he keeps kicking me off. Look at that, he's not happy. Not happy, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm like so close to the screen. <laughs> what is this? There are bumblebees in Minecraft now? Are you kidding? She was so cute, hi. Oh, oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, it's shift. Oh, okay. So we're gonna do something really cool today. And we are gonna design a church in Minecraft. So, so often during church, we talk about the building and why is this here? And why is that here? and. You know, why is the baptism font there? And why is the pulpit there? And how come you sit where you sit? So if we can build our own, we can figure out why those things are there and why we choose to put them there. So what should it be made out of? I want it to be something cool, not wool. That would be a bad idea. The wise man built his house upon the rocks, not the wool. In old religious art, Mary's clothing was often either blue or purple. Now, purple was considered a royal color, so that's why they painted her in purple. And blue was the most expensive paint, and pigment was not easy to get. So, oh, hi, Mr. Sheep. When you see a painting, an old painting of Mary and Jesus. Then you think, why is she wearing purple? Why is she wearing blue? Because it's a sign of royalty. Oh, you know where? Let's build it up here. It's a little snowy, but there's no reason you can't have a church in the snow. There's a fire over there. That's concerning. We just need a big space, to be honest. And we need some grass. Always, give me some grass. The wise man built his house upon the rocks. Oh, and Grace is not feeling very good because the game moves way too fast and her eyeballs are not used to it. We're really just winging it here, kids. Really just trying our best.
that even? That's even. Cool. And then what else do we need? What else? We're gonna make a little church. He's just gonna be a little guy. Oh, oh, it's a chicken. So if you notice in our sanctuary, one, two, three, four, the doors are right in the middle and they all lead straight up to the front of the church. Time set day. Yes. Look at that. I'm an absolute professional. How about we do some windows? Yeah. Everybody likes windows. Oh, right. here's what we got so far. Looking, yeah, okay. It's looking. It's kind of like our sanctuary. We have windows going in so you can peek in. Like, hello, is the service going on? Yes, it is. What about a carpet? Do we need a carpet? Or we could do wool. Yeah, we could do wool. Cause that makes sense for carpet, right? Yeah, or should we do, okay, decoration time. No, that looks too green. We're gonna do wool. I think that's a good idea. Do you? I think that's a good idea. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that's very nice. So here's what we got. House tour. If you see that I'm squinting, it's because I am a little bit dizzy. Just a little, oh, there's more water. So at the front of the church, there is a stage. I want some stained glass. I think that would be cool, wouldn't you? Whoop. Why is my guy here? How did I press F5? Whoa. <laughs> Hello there. So we need baptism font. Font? Fount. I need a fount, not a font. There it is. And it's gold. I think gold looks pretty. Uh, right at the center is the pulpit. And this is where the pastor will preach from. Right here. Hello, everyone. This is Pastor Randy. I am preaching from the pulpit. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Sometimes there's a worship team too. And this can be the water for the baptism font. Font, fountain. <laughs> Why am I thinking font? Pew, 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 pew. It's a pew, it's a pew, it's a pew, it's a pew. And that is our sanctuary. Sometimes some churches have Paintings or decoration on the wall. And that all just depends on where you go. Our church doesn't have paintings or decoration on the wall. But always remember, the church itself, aka the body of Christ, the people that attend church, it's not about the building. It is about the people who believe and who gather together and if not the church that they gather, they can gather in their homes. They can gather at school. They could gather in a restaurant. They can gather as a church family without the building. But the building does signify something. And it's very important. But we should always remember that even if we can't make it to church in the building, that's okay. In our church in particular, there's something really special. That's called a steeple. Do you remember the thing that went, here's the church, here's the steeple, open the doors, and here's all the little people. But we'll finish off the steeple. Remember how it points down in the church? 
right above the pulpit. All right, can we see a little bit better? Yes. Now we can see. There's a doorbell. Okay, hold your horses. Whoa. <laughs> okay, that's that's a little that's a little big. There's the steeple, the stained glass, white walls. I think we did a pretty good job. Although I left the doors open. So, okay, official tour. And there you go. And you can see it from all the way over here. And look, there's the snow. Whoa. <laughs> hey guys, thank you so much for joining me. I had so much fun building with you. So this is your chance. If you have a game like Minecraft or maybe you have Lego at home or you're gonna draw or color, whatever you do, Let's do something creative today. Let's use our God-given gifts to celebrate Him. Draw something that makes you happy. Draw something that would please God. Draw something or make something. That's my challenge to you. Well, folks, I will see you next time on Kids Church. I hope you have a super awesome summer and are enjoying the sun, going to the beach, hanging out with your friends, good stuff. Goodbye.